Welcome to a new video on my robotic arm with pneumatic hand. Built with Vizdenic, uh, programmed in Python, which runs on a laptop, and which is connected via um, USB. Robot interfaces uh, and extension uh, connected to pneumatic valves for the hand, obviously, and wires for motors and all kinds of sensors. The hand also powered kind of by this uh, pneum um, pneumatic engine of my own design. This is the Netfish technique. This also but the engine I built myself. With um, three old um, CPU uh, cooling elements as a counterweight to the arm and the wrist. Last time I um, found that I had to correct uh, the wiring of the hand. Um, apart from that, uh, still problems with uh, the wrist that doesn't work and should. And um, some signaling of uh, both uh, wrist and um, well the pitch of the hand. Also um, a problem starts to be that the pneumatic engine, um, the, compressor, uh, the air compressor, doesn't provide enough power, enough uh, pressure to uh, get all the fingers moving. So let's focus on uh, the electrical and pneumatic wiring of the hand. Let's see how everything works out and I won't do it uh, with the um, diagnosis tool but just via Python as is supposed to. Right, so um, on screen to the left the coder, then diagnosis interface which I should not or will not uh, intend to use, uh, but who knows whatever happens. Of course, um, the camera and the decoder. So let's run. Downside to being a um, pneumatic uh, engine is that it still has to build uh, the uh, air pressure so I will have to wait for that in the meantime this one is releasing um, the wire so it comes loose which is in itself alright let's see if this is already with enough power Um, which reminds me, let's stop this for a moment because um, I want to know if all the wires of the hand are correct. So uh, I'm already uh, ignoring my own uh, idea. And this is not the correct interface. This is the correct interface. So now, yes, and this is working, this is working, this is working, and this is working. So electrically, the hand works. That is very good. And let's start again. So at least now I do know that when I press one of the switches, it should work. The only thing now is, ah, now it works. So now everything should be working all right. And No. 
Yeah, one thing you did. Uh, let's say that this finger responded. Yeah, definitely. This finger also. This finger also. But the fact that it doesn't go like uh, all the way means look at how far it can extend that there's something wrong with the wiring and when i pull the electrically the electrical wiring it is pulled down again through the base of the arm and that is that was a problem last time as well so what i need to do is lift the wiring so it gets easier to have them to the full extent. Let's see how that works out. Okay, I have pulled the cables uh, to, well, to the top and now when you look at the fingers, the thumb goes nice and I'm doing this obviously without the uh, compressor this has full extent, this also had the full extent, almost, this one does have the full extent, and this not really, but this is a wire that had a problem last time as well, and it's pulling down for some reason. and holding them down even then it is problematic so one of the wires is not giving in now it is okay so now this is working let's test if everything is all right with this wire uh, that was the second interface and it works nicely and it extends all the way, that's good. No, that is not good. So, this was here. This is there. And by the way, I have now um, bi uh, dipole switches, uh, bipolar switches, like here and right here so i could basically um, change this switch into this one um would that work out not quite sure yet because then in this case it would have to make a difference uh, like here with, um, where I have to pull the switch like this somehow and in these cases I just have to press them so what's better and what's not anyway let's run and also try to pay some attention to the wrist which has been a problem for a long time so let's see if this finger works out i don't think so not enough air pressure yet Nope, not yet. But in theory everything works now. And practically considering the electrical signals it does work. But uh, in demonstrations people want to see the hand 
and yeah there one there it goes this one doesn't for some reason so why don't all fingers move well this one does will this finally uh, be going to then I really have to hold it but you can't even see properly on camera it won't work not that one middle finger then again now apparently even one chamber like this one located right here is um, not enough to build enough pressure to get multiple things done unfortunately so what next um, concentrating on the wrist why is that not working anymore um, let's observe the motor again all right so now in order to uh, analyze what's going wrong with um, this motor here i have removed this plate um, figured out that it is motor uh, 3 on the extension which is the slave so if i now hold the motor like this will the wrist actually start moving correctly so let's put it to force to speed one and then you can clearly see it does have a big problem it's slipping all the way and even if I hold it it is still slipping so somehow this whole construction really does not work out you can clearly see that this construction let's move it a little bit closer really why does it stop oh because one of the wires has come off which can clearly see how the motor is struggling so that really needs to improve uh, apart from the wire I'm holding because it has come off so now I have two problems ouch that is not good did, uh, this is really asking for reconstruction and that's not going to be easy so how to deal with it um, well first I have of course to fix um, this wire and then see how the rest goes and now unfortunately both of the motor wires have come off um, so in order to connect them uh, to solder them back is going to be a real challenge uh, but maybe it's a good thing because now I can focus on um, fixing the whole wrist uh, element motor and chain etc although it is completely built in as you can see um, well the motor 
uh, wasn't as firm, uh, firmly uh, built and constructed as thought, but with the wires come off, um, it's a nice excuse to look at it. So, loose wires, the uh, motor shaking away, yeah, uh, topic for next time. And I think I'll leave it at that for this time. So, uh, focus next time will be um, the wrist motor, uh, rewiring, um, refixing, and hopefully the chain uh, fix so that it turns as it should. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment or suggestion, much appreciated. Uh, you can also follow me via Instagram and Twitter. Um, please, uh, if you like this uh, video and my whole channel, um, consider a donation via either PayPal or Riot. And you can also become a patron. Uh, and depending on the pledge you make, may have your name mentioned on my website and with my videos. More information under this video, um, also a URL of my website uh, with many interesting uh, projects and subjects and also uh, mentioned in the next short segment. For now have a nice day and well to be continued obviously and bye bye.